Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher Jovi of Bisan Onsa TV. Today's lesson is about how to evaluate the numerical expressions using Jimda's rule. Ang lesson nito ay pang grade 6, quarter 2. Okay, let's begin! Ano ba itong Jimdas Order of Operation? Ang Jimdas ay isang mnemonic na para mapadali natin ma-remember ang pag-solve sa numerical expressions. Ang J stands for grouping. Ito ang mga grouping symbols. May bracket, parenthesis, tsaka braces. E stands for exponent. M stands for multiplication. D for division. Now, itong multiplication at saka division ay pwede natin isolve ito from left to right. Ibig sabihin nito ay pag mauna itong multiplication ay iunahin natin. Pero pag maunang division, pwede rin nating unahin na ma-isolve. Okay. A stands for addition. S stands for subtraction. Now, ito na mga addition at subtraction ay pwede rin itong nating isolve from left to right. Ibig sabihin, pag maunang addition ay unahin natin pag-solve. Pero pag maunang subtraction ay pwede rin unahin natin na pag-solve. Okay, yun ang Jimdas order of operation. Tandaan nyo yan. Let us have this example number 1. 7 plus 3 times 10. Kung ikaw o kung kayo ang mag-solve nito, ano ang gagawin ninyo? Karamihan kasi sa mga tao ay ganito ang kanilang pag-solve. Una, i-add muna nila ang 7 plus 3. So, ito ay 10 multiply by 10. The answer is 100. Pag ganito ang inyong solusyon o ganito ang answer ninyo, ito ay mali. Now, observe Jim Das rule. Ito. Sinabi dito, pag mauna ang multiplication ay unahin. So, copy na natin ang 7 plus unahin natin ang 3 times 10. The answer is 30. So, ngayon, i-add natin ang 7 at saka 30. The answer is 37. Ganyan na ang pag-solve. Yan ang Jim Das rule. So, hindi ganito. So, malaki ang kaibahan. Okay, let us have another Example number 2. Mm, 20 minus 9 divided by 3 plus open parenthesis. 10 minus 2 close parenthesis. So, may grouping tayo ngayon. So, ito ang uunahin natin. Kopyahin lang ang 20 minus 9 divided by 3 plus. What is 10 minus 2? The answer is 8. Okay, so wala ng groupings. Ngayon, meron namang division. Ito ang unahin natin. Copy 20 minus 9 divided 3. The answer is 3 plus 8. Okay, ngayon ay wala ng division or grouping. Dito na naman tayo sa minus at saka plus. Now, sabi kanina, pwede nating unahin ang minus or pwede rin natin unahin ang plus. Okay, so 20 minus 3, the answer is 17. Plus 8, the answer is 25. How about kung unahin natin pag-solve itong dito? Yan, negative 3 plus 8. Ano ang answer ninyo? The answer is positive 5. So, i natin sa 20, it is 25. So, pariha lang. Kaya pwedeng from left to right. Okay ba? Okay. Next number. Dito tayo sa example number 3. 3 is squared plus 4. Multiply by open parenthesis. 12 minus 2. Then close parenthesis. Minus 5. Ngayon, I'm my exponent at saka my uh, grouping symbol. So, unahin natin itong nasa grouping symbol. Copy 3 squared plus 
4, then isolve natin ang 12 minus 2, the answer is 10. Ngayon, pag ganito, walang operation na plus or minus, ito ay times. So, 4 times 10 minus 5. Uh, ang, meron ng uh, may exponent tayo. So, 3 squared is 9. Paano naging 9? Kasi, you have to multiply 3 by itself 2 times. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Plus, eh, copy natin for times 10 minus 5. So, dito may multiply natin ang 4 times 10. So, 9 plus 40 minus 5. 9 plus 40 is 49 minus 5. So, 14 minus 5, the answer is 44. Okay, ganun lang ang pag-solve. Okay, last example na tayo. Number 4. 25 plus open bracket 2 times 8 minus 3 plus 35 close bracket minus 16 divided by 2 to the power of 4. So dito, makikita natin na maraming grouping symbol. So ito ang unahin natin na sa gitna 8 minus 3. Kopyahin natin 25 plus 2. What is 8 minus 3? The answer is 5 plus 35 minus 16 divided by 2 to the power of 4. Meron pang grouping symbol so isolve muna natin yan. Copy 25 plus bracket, uh, open bracket, 2 times 5 that is 10 plus 35 minus 16 divided by 2 to the power of 4. Meron pa rin grouping, so unahin natin yan. 25 plus, what is 10 plus 35? The answer is 45 minus 16 divided by 2 to the power of 4. Ngayon, ang isold natin ay itong may exponent. So, copy 25 plus 45 minus 16 divided by, what is 2 to the power of 4? 2 to the power of 4 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, meaning i-multiply natin ng apat na basis ang number 2. So 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Meron naman division. So ito ang unahin natin. Copy 25 plus 45 minus. What is 16 divided by 16? The answer is 1. Okay. So, ito na lang ang naiwan plus at saka minus. Unahin natin ang plus. 25 plus 45. The answer is 70 minus 1. And the final answer is 69. Ganyan lang ang pag-solve using Jim Das Roll. Salamat sa inyong pag-watch ngayon. At yung hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please maloy mo, subscribe na town mo. At saka... You mag-like kayo, mag-comment, o kaya share ninyo sa inyong mga kaibigan. Daghang salamat, adios, bye-bye! This is Bisan Onsa TV, signing off.